Hello, my fifth grader friends. This week, we are doing another project. We are using what we learned from last week and the week before to make this project. So, so far we have been doing zentangles, we have been doing mandalas, we've been doing things that use pattern. And pattern is something, it could be a line, a color, a shape, anything that repeats itself. But you have already been doing that. So here is our project. It uses pattern. And we are going to add space and form to our project. So we already have pattern. We are going to make our object look like it is 3D and that it is sitting on something, which gives it space. Patterns are very, very cool. They make an artwork go from eh to wow. I have an artist that I really admire. His name is Kenley Wiley, and he makes portraits, so paintings of people, but he uses patterns a lot. And a lot of his patterns are inspired by nature or art history. I went to these artworks on the screen right here. I went to this art show in St. Louis, and his artwork is pretty cool because he goes to the streets and finds people and that are just walking around, he asks if he can paint them. This is a little bit of our inspiration. We'll talk about him again when we talk about portraits, but his patterns are beautiful. So, our artwork will be using the patterns, like I said, and I'm going to show you how to draw a mug sitting on a tabletop, and it is up to you on the different patterns, different uh, zen tangles that you want to add. This is a two week project. Stop in the video where I stop. Do not finish the whole piece this week. Break it up into two separate weeks, okay? Good luck and I can't wait to see what you do. Our paper is vertical, that means up and down, and we are using a pencil and drawing our two lines. It's almost like an equal sign, but the bottoms are closer together. We're gonna connect the bottom with a stretched U and the top with a stretched U. Then we are going to add a, almost like a rainbow shape on the upper edge. So here we have our circle, and this is perspective. So when something is going back, that circle changes to an ellipse, which is what we have. It's not a circle, and it's almost like a stretched oval. So now we have the base of our 3D looking cup. It is on a little plate, so we are going to do a big round, almost like an O. And if you can tell, it's not a circle, it is an ellipse. So it's not a perfect round circle. If you'd like to add a handle to your mug, you can. And that's just a C with another C on the inside. I'm going to erase my mistake. That is why we use a pencil. Now to put our mug in a place to add space to it, we are going to use a ruler to create our horizon line. That is the line where the sky meets the ground. So we are putting that right behind our mug, making sure we don't have our line go all the way through it. My mug is of hot coffee, so I'm doing some steam, little wavy lines coming out of it. And to show that our mug has liquid, we're going to do another rainbow shape inside. If you can see, it's like a little space from the top line and the bottom line. And there is our 3D mug in a space. So this is sped up because you are not going to copy exactly what I do, but I am adding a pattern. So my zigzag pattern to make the space look like it is 3D the zigzags are bigger closer to the front of the page and they get smaller the further they are and the closer they are to the horizon line. I'm decorating my mug with a flower star pattern and my background I'm doing these diamond pattern shapes and I'm using a ruler. You could use a ruler or you could find something else straight that you can use as a straight edge. I'm going in and adding more squares 
For your pattern, I want you to make yours yours. Do not copy mine exactly. Remember to take a photo of your artwork and post it onto our Google Classroom page. If you don't add a photo to it, I can't count it as complete, so you need to take a photo of it. Good luck, and I can't wait to see what you do. Bye!